Renewable energy in Chile is classified as conventional and non-conventional renewable energy (NCRE) and includes biomass, hydropower, geothermal, wind and solar among other energy sources. Most of the time, when referring to renewable energy in Chile, it will be the non-conventional kind. Chile has considerable geothermal, solar and wind energy resources while fossil fuel resources are limited. In 2016 non-conventional renewable energy provided 7,794 gigawatt-hours, or 11.4% of the country's total electricity generation. NCRE accounted for 17.2% of the installed electricity generation capacity by the end of 2016. Topic: <laughs> Timeline of key developments. 2013 in 2013, with the promulgation of the law 20698, the target was increased to 20% by the year 2025, and a new progression for the following years was defined 0.2008. In 2008, the Chilean law set the non-conventional renewable energy target to 10% by 2024. In 2013 the target was increased to 20% by 2025. The law 20257 modified the Electricity Services General Law by adding the article 150 degrees bis, which stated that every electricity company that has over 200 megawatts of installed capacity and that makes withdrawals from the grid, 10% of that energy has to come from non-conventional renewable energy sources. This target can be accomplished by either recognizing energy from its own power plants or by purchasing energy from other NCRE power plants. If the electricity company has a surplus of NCRE, that energy can be recognized as part of the target for the next year. The same article states that if an electricity company falls short, it has to pay a fee per megawatt-hour of deficit. If the company falls short three consecutive years, the fee is increased by 50%. However, the company with the deficit has the option to postpone the obligation for one year only if it gives notice in advance by March of the same calendar year. The collected fee will be distributed between the final customers whose consumed energy complied with the renewable energy target. Non-conventional renewable energy sources According to Chilean law and degree 20257 of 2008, the non-conventional renewable energy sources are Biomass, biogas and waste Hydro power, with installed capacity below 20 MW Geothermal energy Solar energy Wind power Sea power, such like wave and tidal energy Others approved by the authority, that help diversify electricity generation sources and have a low environmental impact. <laughs> Hydroelectricity Hydro power has always been an important resource in the Chilean electric grid. Historically, hydro power has accounted for around 50% of the total electricity generation of the country. In particular, hydrology is one of the factors for seasonal variations in the electricity prices of one of the main electric grids of the country, the Sistema Interconectado Central. With seasonal droughts causing electricity prices to rise, there are 118 hydro power plants in the entire country, totaling almost 6,460 megawatts of installed capacity, of which 10 plants are dams. The rest are run of the river. 
Most of these by September 2015 are classified as non-conventional renewable energy and are considered mini hydro power plants, as they have less than 20 MW of installed capacity. <laughs> Geothermal energy With 15% of the world's volcanoes, Chile has vast geothermal potential, estimated at 16,000 MW. This includes the El Tatio geyser field, with 8% of the world's geysers. Chile's and South America's first geothermal power plant is called Cerro Pabellón. It is located in the Atacama Desert at around 4,500 meters (14,700 feet) above sea level, and has a capacity of 48 megawatts. Cerro Pabellón belongs to Geotermica del Norte S.A. (GDN), which is a joint venture between Enel Green Power Chile Ltda and Empresa Nacional del Petróleo (ENAP). Solar energy Solar power in Chile has the potential of producing all of the electricity used in Chile. Northern Chile has the highest solar incidence in the world. Chile could generate all of its electricity with about 4% of the Atacama Desert surface area, if there were a way to efficiently store and distribute that energy. In October 2015 Chile's Ministry of Energy announced its Roadmap to 2050, a sustainable and inclusive strategy, which plans for 19% of the country's electricity to be from solar energy, 23% wind power and 29% hydroelectric power. The 246 megawatts El Romero solar photovoltaic plant opened in November 2016 at Valinor in the Atacama region. It was the largest solar farm in Latin America when it opened. In 2016, SolarPak won an electricity auction held without disclosing bidder's power source by bidding $29.10 per megawatt hour, a record low price. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Wind energy. The 115 megawatts El Arayan wind farm is the largest in Chile, and at the time of its inauguration in 2014, it was the largest in Latin America. The 2016 electricity auction for a combined 12.34 terawatt hours was won partly by wind power. Mainstream Renewable Power won seven projects with 985 megawatts supplying 3.7 terawatt hours per year at between $38.80 and $47.20 and per megawatt hour. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Policy. The law 20257 promulgated in 2008 and the law 20698 promulgated in 2013 by the Ministry of Energy have been the main framework for the promotion of non-conventional renewable energy in Chile. The first law determined the renewable energy target for Chile, and defined the concept of non-conventional renewable energy. The target 10% by 2025 was set to start by 2010, and would only be applied to contracts signed or renewed after August 31, 2007. The second law increased the target to 20% by 2025, and modified the tender mechanism for regulated clients. The modifications facilitated the competitiveness of intermittent renewable energy sources. Because of the target, the Law 20698 is also known as Law 2025. Both laws were complemented with support mechanisms and investment promotion by the Ministry of Energy. Topic: See also 
Energy in Chile Solar power in Chile Geothermal power in Chile Renewable energy by country